Hello, thank you for joining the Center for Sexual and Gender Diversity at Penn State for another children's reading. Today's book is about wearing whatever you want and whatever you feel comfortable in. So let's begin. Today's book is Jacob's New Dress by Sarah and Ian Hoffman, illustrated by Chris Case. Jacob's New Dress. Jacob ran to join Emily in the dress up corner Emily slid into a yellow dress while Jacob wiggled into a sparkly pink dress. They both reached for the crown, but Jacob got there first. I'll be a princess, he said. Christopher frowned. Jacob, why do you always have to wear girl clothes? Put on the night armor. That's what boys wear. Christopher, stop telling us what to do, said Emily. Miss Wilson heard the hubbub. What's going on, kids? Jacob is wearing girl clothes, complained Christopher. The dress up corner is where we can use our imaginations, Miss Wilson said. You can be a dinosaur, a princess, a farmer, anything. Christopher, what do you want to be? A boy, Christopher scowled. Miss Wilson smiled. Jacob, you try it. What new thing could you imagine being? A firefighter? A policeman? Miss Wilson, Jacob said proudly. I'm the princess. How was school today? Mom asked, studying Jacob's face. Fun? Christopher says boys can't wear dresses, said Jacob. Can they? Of course they can. Mom hugged Jacob. Why don't you get into the dress you wore on Halloween and play in that? Jacob pulled on the witch's dress and twirled. He loved the way the black lace swirled around him. I want to wear my dress to school. Jacob's mom frowned. I don't think so, she said. That's for dress up at home. It could get dirty at school. Then can I get to wear a regular dress? A dress I can wear to school? Mom was quiet. Let me think about that, she said. Jacob wondered what to play next. Pirate, princess, bird. Keeping three towels onto the floor, Jacob made a nest. Then he wrapped another towel around himself for feathers. Snug and warm, he imagined what a school dress would look like. The next morning, Jacob stood on the stairs wrapped in a giant bath towel. What are you wearing? said mom. It's like a dress, but I can't get it dirty, Jacob said, pointing to the towel. I made it. Dad frowned. You can't go to school like that. Put on some shorts and a shirt under that dress thing, mom said, and hurry, we're late for school. What's that? demanded Christopher. Jacob moved closer to his mom. Good morning, Christopher, said Jacob's mom. Jacob's wearing something new he invented. Isn't it nice? Christopher didn't answer. I want a dress like that, said Emily. Where'd you get it? It's not a dress, said Jacob, glancing up at his mom. It's a dress thing? Jacob saw Emily smile and grinned back. I can make you one. The playground was full of laughter and running feet as the children played tag. Christopher sneaked up and yanked off Jacob's towel and ran away, whooping. Christopher is mean, Emily hissed. Jacob watched Christopher wave the towel like a captured flag and started to cry. How was school today, Mom asked. Christopher stole my dress thing, said Jacob. The tears flooded back. Mom hugged Jacob. I'm sorry. Christopher's not always a good friend. Mom, whispered Jacob, can you help me make a real dress? Mom didn't answer. 
The longer she didn't answer, the less Jacob could breathe. Let's get the sewing machine, she said finally. Jacob felt the air refill his body. He grinned. Mom smiled back. There are all sorts of ways to be a boy, she said, right? Dad looked up from his book. Mom and I made a dress, said Jacob quietly. Dad studied the dress. Jacob started to get that can't breathe feeling again. I can see you worked hard on that dress, said dad. Are you sure you want to wear it to school? Jacob nodded. Dad nodded and smiled back. Well, it's not what I would wear, but you look great. Jacob skipped up the front walk to school. He found Emily inside and showed her his new dress. They found matching colors in their clothes and laughed. Purple and white. Do you want to play dress up, said Emily? No, monkey bars. Together they ran to the playground. My mom and I made this dress, Jacob said proudly at circle time. We used her sewing machine. That's wonderful said Miss Wilson. Was the sewing machine hard to use? Why does Jacob wear dresses? Interrupted Christopher. Miss Wilson paused. I think Jacob wears what he's comfortable in, just like you do. Not very long ago, little girls couldn't wear pants. Can you imagine that? Christopher shook his head. I asked my dad and he says, Boys don't wear dresses. Jacob rubbed the hem of his dress, looking at the little stitches he'd sewn himself. He could hear Miss Wilson and the other kids talking, but their words sounded so far away. On the playground, Christopher yelled, let's play tag. Boys versus girls. Jacob, you're on the girls team. A bunch of kids laughed. Jacob felt his dress surrounding him like armor, soft, cottony, magic armor. Christopher, I made this dress and I'm proud of it and I'm going to wear it. And you know what else? Jacob tagged Christopher. You're it. Jacob sprinted across the playground, his dress spreading like wings. There are lots of different ways to be a boy. Thank you for joining me for this reading. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Penn State CSJD um, for more Pride content. If you want me, Mother Goose, to read more books, please let us know. Thank you.